Hey everyone, Lucas here from Aussie Gamers Express and today I am bringing you an unboxing and a review of the new Rocket Cross headphones here. These are over-ear headphones that are multi-platform stereo for video games. Now these are outstanding everywhere. Not designed specifically for your device, but designed specifically for you. Let's get into the unboxing. Okay, here it is, it's the Rocket Cross. Let's have a look at the, the uh, packaging that it comes with. It says on the front here that it's multi-platform over ear stereo gaming headset, and it's outstanding everywhere. And on the tech specs, we've got here driver units, frequency response, 20 to 20,000 Hertz, impendence 32 Omega. Is that what that symbol is? I don't know. Uh, max SPL at 1 kilohertz is 98 decibels. Driver diameter is a 50 millimeter, and the driver unit material is neodymium, neodymium magnet. I knew I'd stuff that word up. Microphone sensitivity at 1 kilohertz is 40 minus 42 de decibels. Impedance 2.2. Killer somethings. I don't know. You tell me. What is that symbol? Signal to noise ratio is 58, 200 grams. Uh, the PC cable length is 2.35 meters and it's detachable. The jack plug is a dual plug, 3.5 millimeter, three pin. And we've got mobile console cable length, which is 1.2 meters detachable. And we've got the jack plug, single plug, 3.5 millimeter, four pin, something, something, something. And in the box, we should have the headset, a mobile cable, a PC cable, and a quick installation guide. And we'll have a look on the back here. Unmatched audio quality, 50 millimeter neodymium drivers for studio audio with deep bass. Aerodynamic design, that's something I'm really keen on, is how they're nice and slim, and they only weigh 200 grams. Ideal for every platform. It works great with PC, Mac, mobile, PS4, and Xbox One, which is really cool. That's uh, pretty much across the board what it's usable for. Detachable dual microphones, swappable boom arm mic for PC, and inline mic for mobile. Memory foam, ear pads. Hopefully these are comfortable and don't squeeze your head too much. Max comfort, uniquely adapted to each wearer, and volume control, quick access volume control on the left ear cup. All right, let's, uh, let's get this open and have a look at what we've got inside. So there. Okay, we'll put the box away. Open this up, get that away too. Okay, what do we got? The cables underneath? Yes, we'll have a look at those first and then we'll get to the headset. So here we've got the important document, which to just about every gamer that I know is probably the least important thing, and it says it's important. So we'll put that aside, and we'll have a look at what cables we've got here. Nice and braided, which is cool. Okay, so that will likely plug into the headset itself and give you the boom mic for when you're using it on a PC. That's pretty cool. Nice and flexible. All right. Now, remember, if you're new to uh, my reviews on Aussie Gamers Express, what I like to do is this is just going to be an unboxing where I'll give a first impression of what it looks like, but then I'll go ahead and I'll use it for a while. And then I'll, in the, the, the next section of this video, will be me giving a review, which will be fast forwarded a few days or so. So we've got a control in line there with uh, the microphone mute switch that's a good solid switch there it feels there's enough feedback in there to know that you've switched it which is really cool and the two plugs there that'll be your pc uh, connectors there all right let's put that aside have a look at this one now a little bit simpler this will be for your consoles or your mobile gaming so if it's a Mobile phone will just go into the headphone jack unless you've got an iPhone 7 which doesn't have a headphone jack. So any other iPhones or Androids you'll be able to plug them into or you plug it into the bottom of your controllers. Say for example the PlayStation 4 controller, it'll just go into there. See I think it would be this one like that into the bottom of your controller. Same with an Xbox One controller. Okay, 
that's the cables now let's have a look at the headphones itself now they are they are quite small they look small in comparison to the headphones that i normally use and we've got the cool rocket design on the headphones which is cool i normally use for my pc i've got a set of these ones i'll show you it's a rocket uh cave headphones these are normally what i use if we compare them there's the the size difference if i can hold them properly there we go so there's a difference between the rocket cave headphones and the rocket cross all right so i like their compact design which is going to be good for mobile so if you're taking these out for a walk or a jog or on the on the uh, train or something like that on the way to work, these would be really good for that. Yeah, so there you go. That's everything in the box. The phone looks good. All right, before I do a review of it though, let me, I'll just pop this on my head and we'll see how they feel. All right, so let's put these on. Now, which one's left and right? Okay, that's how it's that way. There you go. Oh, wow, they've got good noise cancellation on them. Uh, just talking. I can uh, feel that my, like the reverberation of my own voice through my head. Would it be really nice? I don't know if uh, these headphones have uh, the voice feedback, which will feedback my voice through the microphone. Obviously they're not plugged into anything at the moment, so that's not working. If it does have that feature, I'll let you know in the review portion, which is coming up. But <clears throat> first up, I can say pretty comfortable and they're very light. Now, they don't have any cables attached to them or the, the mics and that, but just on their own, though, very light. They cover my ears completely. There's not like I haven't got a bit of my uh, my ear stuck in the foam or anything like that. It's 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 well covered, so it, it does feel comfortable. But anyway, we'll come back for the next portion of this uh, video with the review section, and I'll explain how they feel after a few hours of use and uh, how the sound quality is as well. And I've used quite a few headphones now with reviewing them for Aussie Games Express, so I feel like I'm going to be a good judge of whether the sound quality is good and how comfortable these babies are. And it's very important that they're comfortable off the get-go because there's uh, some headphones that I've used that get comfortable after a while wearing them in, but can be a little bit uncomfortable when you put them on for the first time. So far, so good for these puppies. So we'll let you know. I'll get to use them and we'll uh, have a look in the review portion. So stick around for the next section and I'll tell you what I think after using them for a while. See you on the other side. Okay, so it's time for the review portion of this video. So thank you very much to everyone that stuck around to hear me out. Let's have a look at the closer details of the Rocket Cross and see how its features stack up. Okay, so starting off, I'm gonna just have a look at the overall design of the Rocket Cross headphones. So they are a really good looking set of headphones, I think. They're nice and small. They're light, we'll get to those specifications in a moment. But they're nice and streamlined, which I like. I mean. It's not exactly like you need uh, aerodynamics or anything like that, but they do look good for that reason, being a nice uh, sort of, oh, uh, I don't know, slim design. It's not going to be a massive set of headphones on your head when you're uh, going for a walk or something like that. Now, having a look up the top, I'll turn it around so it's the right way. You've got the Rocket logo, which always looks nice on their uh, products, and the Rocket uh, Lion on that there and rock it on the other side which is uh, quite nice and they're quite durable the, the set, these headphones can twist around a bit without even making it look like it's going to break or have major malfunctions now the the ear cups do swivel but only a little bit it would have been nice if they would swivel completely flat to help with putting them away uh, and they don't fold away <clears throat> excuse me, at all. So if you are going to use these on the go, you're going to either have to store them on your head or around your neck or, you know, it's going to take up a bit of room in your bag. So here yeah, on the, I believe that's the left, the left side ear cup, we've got a volume control, which is, uh, which is good and convenient for mucking around with the volume. If you don't have a volume uh, control, easy to access on whatever device the, that you're using. Uh, I've used that a little bit in uh, on my PlayStation 4 when uh, using that in a game. The only thing is, though, there's no separation for the voice 
chat in the, on the PlayStation 4 and the sound for the actual game. You have to do that manually through the console you, itself or whatever device you're using, but it does at least have a volume switch there. All right, let's have a look at the connections because this is not a wireless set of headphones. I'll just put this to the side. And first of all, we'll get the boom mic for the PC. It's got the PC connectors here and they plug into your computer. So that one there is your headphone jack for the sound. And this one is for the microphone on the boom. And it's a braided cable and it braids into a single cable. So you don't have two, two cables running the whole length. Let me get the other end of it. Okay, so here it is here. I'll plug it in and show you how it goes in using a 3.5 millimeter adapter there plugs into the headphone. So that's what you've got there. Now this is a flexible microphone, boom microphone, and the quality is uh, quite good. I'm gonna do a bit of a um, microphone comparison test with the, uh, the microphone that I always use for my reviews with this one as well as the inline mic, which we'll get to in a moment. But I'll show you the, uh, the comparisons a little bit later. So there you go, that's where it goes onto the left side there. You can move it around and uh, it uh, does a pretty good job at that. All right, now let's take that one off, put it aside. Oh, I forgot to mention on the, the boom mic connector for your PC, it actually has a inline mute which is really convenient. I always look, look for that on uh, headphones that I've got. Cause you know, sometimes you want to cough, spurt, fart, scream at the kids, blah, blah, blah. Tell your missus, your lover without uh, your mates hearing. So you can quickly chuck on a mute there or something like that. So that's on the inline cable there for the uh, PC boom mic. All right, so let's put them aside. Let's grab now, if you are finished with your PC, whoops, bumping the camera, finished with your PC gaming and you want to chuck it in your mobile phone or go for a walk and listen to some music, you plug this one into your phone. So that one there, it's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Unfortunately, this won't be compatible with iPhone 7 because as people know, they took the headphone jack out. And this side here will go into the headphone. So let's plug it into there. And that's what that looks like there. So that's the Rocket Cross with the inline headphone, inline mic, which you'll use for your mobile phone. And on this one, it has a little click. And that there is used for answering mobile phone calls or if you hold it down with an iPhone 6, that'll activate Siri or voice control, whatever. And it's got a tiny little inline microphone there for making phone calls or for uh, chat on your PlayStation 4 or your Xbox One or whatever sort of gaming system that you use. So there you go. Now, the thing that's a little bit disappointing with this one is it doesn't have a mute switch. It would have been nice to have a little tiny switch on here to mute it. But if you do want to mute using this, uh, the Rocket Cross, you'll have to mute in game or using your phone or whatever. So that's just a hang up and answer button. And I don't believe that actually has any function when plugged into a console. It's just for your mobile phone. Okay, and before we quickly go into the features of the Rocket Cross, I'm going to give you a quick example. I'll show you some examples of what the microphone quality is like when you're going from the boom mic to the inline mic and oh, the inline mic is that one there and compared to the lapel mic that I use for my reviews, which you can hear me now. But check out the uh, comparison of these microphones now. Okay, so this is a test using the Rocket Cross PC boom mic adapter. So as you can hear, my voice might be slightly different to my usual lapel mic for my review, but that's the idea to get a bit of a comparison here. So, okay, now we are testing the Rocket Cross inline mic, which is generally going to be used for your mobile devices, uh, plugging into your PlayStation 4 controller or your Xbox One controller or something like that. So let's see how different it sounds when compared to my lapel mic the PC boom mic, and this one, the inline gaming, mobile gaming or mobile device uh, connection there. So, HMI module Alpha Humana on approach to Space Station Mercury. HMI module Alpha Humana on approach to Space Station Mercury. 
HMI module Alpha Humana on approach to space station Mercury. Okay, so that was the comparison between the different microphone settings that the Rocket Cross has. You, I don't, well, I guess the, the boom mic is probably the better of the quality, but the inline mic for mobile gaming is actually quite good. You, you be the judge, the evidence is there. All right, so let's move on and have a chat about the features that are uh, discussed or displayed, I should say, on the box. And first of all is the unmatched audio quality of the 50 millimeter neodymium magnet, magnet drivers that are inside here. Now, I've done a little bit of research when it comes to audio and how it all works, and I've, I've used a lot of different headphones. 50 millimeter drivers or speakers in layman's terms or normal person terms, 50 millimeter drivers is like a good happy medium to give you some nice rich highs that are clear, but also deliver a fair bit of actual bass to give you some good explosions in there. Now, what uh, the Rocket Cross delivers is something that I like to explain as this headset is a jack of all trades and unfortunately a master of none. The Rocket Cross isn't going to blow you away with sound quality, but it is a good set of headphones. It does quite well across the board, but it doesn't particularly excel anywhere. The sounds are clear, the sounds are good, I did find that the bass wasn't that impressive with it, but that probably comes down to its small cup size. It doesn't really have that area to vibrate and resonate the, uh, the bass there. So that was a little bit of a letdown, but overall a good sound, not amazing, but good. All right, next I'm gonna move on to the aerodynamic design and the low weight. This is probably one of the standout features of the Rocket Cross. They are really light. Now I'm not 100% sure which weight to go with because on the website, the official Rocket website for the Cross, it uh, labels it as 185 grams. However, on the back of the box, it labels it at 200 grams. Maybe because of this time of year being Christmas time, it's put on a little bit of holiday weight and like everybody, including myself, a little bit heavier, but I don't know. Either way, 185 grams or 200 grams, it weighs bugger all and they are really comfortable. Uh, I did have uh, one of my uh, colleagues put these headphones on and he said that the ear cups were too small. I don't know if he's got big ears or not because these ear cups were absolutely fine on my head and uh, I found them extremely comfortable. So they're a lightweight design, fit on the head real well for me and uh, I didn't have any dramas with the comfortability. Now next up we've got the ideal for every platform section where it says it works great with PC, Mac, Mobile, PS4 and Xbox One. Now that's true, kind of, it does work good with all of those things, but it doesn't blow me away. I didn't find anything that was really super duper amazing, they were just a good set of headphones. Uh, one thing that I wish that these did have, because with the seal around your ear, it actually does really good noise cancellation where you can't hear too much of your environment but it does mean that when you are talking to people on uh, like a chat or something like that through a game your voice is probably raised and you're screaming into the microphone because you can't hear your own voice what i would have liked to see is some sort of uh, voice feedback so you could hear your own voice slightly i've tested this out on pc on mobile and uh, playstation 4 and it, it was it was good across board uh, next up, the detachable dual microphones. I've kind of already gone through those. Um, the swappable boom mic for PC and inline mic for mobile. I would have liked to have a mute button on the inline mic with the mobile cable, but that's just a, a small uh, oversight there, I guess. Next up, the memory foam ear pads. I have already touched on that. I found them extremely comfortable, especially with the lightweight, but these were really good against the ears. They didn't need to be worn in. They were comfortable straight away. So that's uh, quite a good um, feature there. They're nice and comfortable. And lastly, the volume control. As I mentioned, there's a volume control on the left ear cup, which simply does the, the volume only. It would have been nice if it, there was a separate one for chat, but it doesn't have that. So like I said, it goes down to, I guess the key phrase for the Rocket Cross is it is a jack of all trades, 
but unfortunately a master of none. And by all means, that does not mean that I think these are terrible. I just think that uh, it, at the cost of amazement, you're gonna get something that is compatible with a lot of different things. They look good, they're stylish. To wear them out in public, I wouldn't be too um, fussed wearing these, they, they look fine. With some massive headphones would generally look a little bit embarrassing having massive headphones on, but these are nice and sleek. So that's uh, quite good there. Okay, in summary, the Rocket Cross headphones have the tagline of outstanding everywhere. If you want my honest personal opinion, I would say that that probably needs to be changed to pretty good everywhere. It isn't really outstanding in its field, other than the fact that they're light, compact, and really comfortable. The, uh, the rest of the performance was good at best. So that's, uh, that is my personal and my honest opinion of the Rocket Cross. Damn, they're good looking headphones. And they've got uh, some good extendable range there I forgot to mention, so I'll bring it up now. And they actually feel like they are quite durable, which is nice. But yeah, so uh, if you do want to pick up a set of these or you want to go and check them out, the only place that I've found so far that stock them uh, is EB Games and they've got them at retail for $130. However, their website states that they're not available until February 2017. So make sure you ring up ahead of time or check the description below and I'll give you a bit of a, an understanding as to where you can get uh, these headphones at, uh, where you can get these headphones from and uh, clarify a couple of things that aren't so clear right now. So there you have it. That is the Rocket Cross. Outstanding everywhere headphones that is compatible with just about everything including PC, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, mobile, and that's it. Lovely. Thank you to everybody for watching this unboxing and review, and I'll catch you all next time on the Aussie Gamers Express YouTube channel. Thank you, I'm Lucas Aurelius. See ya.